You hear that? I think it's another Don and Maui preview landing right there. So let's go check out what it's all about. Spoiler alert, it's awesome. Now this should be a short and sweet video because um, there, of course, there has been progress, but um, you know, it's just implementing all the missing bits, the missing handlers and making things more stable. But I think there is one important thing that we need to note here. So um, together at .NET Conf, I'll talk a little bit more about that, which is a big conference all about .NET, which uh, just wrapped up last week at the time of recording. Um, VS 2022 has launched as well, I think the day before .NET Conf. So Visual Studio 2022 is now generally available Available. You can download it if you haven't done so already. Um, but together with that, we've also released a Visual Studio 2022 preview. So 17.1 preview. Um, and the .NET MAUI bits have moved from the, the GA version, which was previously in preview. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of previews and GAs in here. Um, but so if you install the regular Visual Studio 2022 right now, then you won't see .NET MAUI. You won't see the .NET MAUI workload, which is kind of odd because you've worked with it before, but it also kind of makes sense because um, you know it's now generally available. So we don't want to have these experimental bits, these preview bits in a generally available Visual Studio. So together with the um, stable version of Visual Studio 2022, there's now also the 17.1. I think if you were on the preview track before for Visual Studio, then it should update automatically to the 17.1 version. Um, if not, you know, um, just use Bing to Google um, Visual Studio preview and you will land on the right page. So having that said, you need Visual Studio 17.1 to install the .NET MAUI workload right now. But the good news is, is that it, I think it's much more stable because I've mentioned in earlier videos before, um, you know, .NET MAUI was a little bit rough. And by that, I mean, there are so many bits. The tooling was new. .NET 6 was new and still in preview. WinUI was still new and in preview. Um, the, the, all these things had to work together for .NET MAUI to be able to work. So it wasn't really .NET MAUI who was kind of rough around the edges. Um, as well as all the other bits. But now the good news is Visual Studio is out, .NET 6 is out. I think WinUI or the, the Windows app SDK um, is almost at version 1.0. So that should be out pretty soon as well. So your experience to start with a .NET MAUI app should be much more smooth by now because all those bits are just right there and you don't need any private NuGet feeds or whatnot. Um, all the things MAUI check, we no longer need that. You can just go and install Visual Studio 17.1 preview um, check that .NET MAUI workload and you should have everything you need. I just tried it out myself on my machine and I was able to just install that preview, um, do a file new .NET MAUI app and it ran at the first try. So, you know, um, as always, if you can't figure it out, please let me know in the comments or find some other way to contact me. I'll be happy to see if I can help you. Um, but I hope it should be much more smoother for you as well. Now let's switch over here to the screen. I think we've did this 10 times before. We have this wonderful blog post by David here who is outlining all the things that are new. Um, First off, the thing that I just mentioned, installing .NET MAUI. So you need to have the preview version. And then if you go over to the installer, you can go to mobile development with .NET and you have to check the .NET MAUI preview check right here. Um, so that's the thing that you need to do. I think I got the installer here as well so we can see it live in action. Um, you can also see you can install it side by side. I only have two right now. I've used to have a couple of Visual Studio instances here. This is the internal preview. This is the regular um, public preview that you can have as well. Um, so you can all do this side by side, no problems, works perfectly. And if you click modify or, you know, if you install this for the first time, you can see all the workloads right here. If you want to do also the Blazor stuff, make sure to click the ASP.NET web development here as well. Um, here, the mobile development. Um, let me check that before I lose all my functionality here. Um, and here you can see um, .NET MAUI is right here. So make sure to click that and it will install all automatically. Now, if you also want to target Windows with WinUI, all that kind of good stuff, make sure to click the universal Windows platform development as well. Um, and you know, some other stuff I like to do Azure. So just click everything that you like in here. Um, and um, of course, if your disk space allows for it. So install that and you should be good to go. Now, the other stuff in here, um, update on controls. I think this is a big one. Collection view is our replacement for the list view. So collection view now uses the handlers as well. Um, I think we also did the indicator view, which is like the little view for um, your carousel view to show on which page you are. Um, so we're just, you know, going through all the controls, converting them to handlers. And um, yeah, for you to use in a .NET 
Maui native way. So that is really great. Now there are some links down here below um, to check out the collection view, indicator view, get started today. So the download link for Visual Studio is right here as well. I'll make sure to put those links down in the video description for you to find. And of course you can check out like, hey, the migration guide for preview nine to preview 10, um, all the other release notes um, and the roadmap of course that is coming as well. Actually, let's just click over to the roadmap for a little bit. Um, and let's see a little look ahead. Uh, preview 11 uh, should land in December. More bug fixes, more handlers for the flyout page, tab page, carousel shell view, web view, um, and some other um, amazing stuff that is in here as well. While we work through the release candidate in Q1, and um, we are going to work towards releasing this as well. Now, the other thing I mentioned was .NET Conf. So let's switch over here to the .NET YouTube channel because that is where it all happens. They have slightly more subscribers than me at this time, but I'm working on that. Um, and here you can see the .NET Conf and it is a big playlist with all kinds of things, uh, but you should definitely check out the keynote for .NET 6. And in the keynote, there was also .NET MAUI, which was a mind blowing demo, really. I'm gonna show you this in a little bit. Um, let me know if you want to, uh, me to go through the source of this code, uh, the source of this code, the source of this app um, in a video, because there is a lot to cover here. I think um, the code will become open source, soon. So uh, make sure by the time that you watch this, I will make sure to update the link down in the video description. Um, but the code should be out there for you to uh, look into as well, because this is just like the other .NET Conf apps, this should be an app that represents a real live um, um, app. And I know for like, you know, years back, Xamarin Forms had this app for conferences where you could see the sessions and you could um, do ratings and all this kind of stuff. And had it that has been copied for real live conferences and used as an app. And I actually, you know, I looked into that app. I didn't work at Microsoft at that time. I looked at that app and I took some concepts from that app as well and applied it to my own app. So it's always good to learn from actual code that has been written by uh, people at Microsoft, but also the nice people at Plain Concepts, which is a company that Microsoft uses to create these demo apps. Um, so there's a lot of stuff in there, not just Xa not Xamarin, not just Don and Maui, but also uh, um, Azure stuff, um, uh, static web pages, containers, I don't know, it's crazy. So. Let me show you what that's all about. Um, I'm going to hear, I think I have it running already. So here we have the app running and it's all about podcasts, right? So this is my UWP version that's running or the WinUI version. Um, and there is some, some podcasts in here. So uh, we can see, I don't know, .NET Rocks, you probably know that one or the .NET Maui podcast, which is really cool as well. Um, you can have subscriptions on podcasts, listen later, um, listen together. And that's the one that I'm showing you because that is going to be really crazy. Um, so if we go into one of these. Um, it is a little bit slow. That's my machine. It's not the app. Um, and um, you can subscribe here to the .NET Maui podcast. So we will get notified whenever a new episode comes up. Um, and we can do this for, you know, the listen later. So it will show up on our listen later thingy here. And whenever we click play here, it shows us this bar that starts playing. So this is just a, a, a audio player, a podcast listener that is fully functional. You can use this to listen to your podcast if that's what you want. Now, whenever I started this listening, what is really cool, I can go to listen together and actually let me start up the Android version of this as well. I already deployed that to my Windows subsystem for Android. So let me click that and it will boot here in the background. Um, and I can go to listen together and what it should do is here show us rooms. So you can create a room to actually listen together to your podcast. And that will use signal R um, to synchronize, you know, wherever the point in the episode is that you're listening to. Um, and you can um, do responses together. So let's create a room. Um, yay, listen together open room and I'm gonna be launched into this room and you can see I can share my reactions with friends. Um, I can leave the room, but the really awesome thing is that the Android app is now here as well. And I can go to together, the together tab, and you can see that the, the, the UI is responsive, right? So now I suddenly have these tabs here at the bottom for my Android UI and for the Windows UI, I have enough um, space which is responsive that it shows on the left side. And you can already see there is this um, um, room here. So I, there's one person in here. So whenever I click, I can go in here and I can say, Hey, my name is Gerald, join the room. And what is really amazing, like I said, it will sync the playing. So it's playing right now, you don't hear it, but it's really playing here. Um, 
and I can say, okay, I like this episode, so I'm gonna do the thumbs up, and you can see in real time it comes up on both apps. All right, I love this, I love this little heart, and it has this playful um, um, animations right here, and it will just float, and if I do a couple of more, then you can see it really shows all of these emojis um, flying up in real time in both apps, so I can really sh share my reactions with all my friends, and that is really cool going in real time. In the .NET Conf keynote, it is, um, you know, much better presented uh, than I could, I think by Maddie Legere, and um, I can't remember who the other person was, maybe Dan Roth with the Blazor part, or Scott Hunter, uh, who is uh, the, the .NET 6 uh, person as well, um, but go definitely go check that out, and like I said, if you want to know more in detail about this code, whenever it's open sourced, um, I can make a video covering like how this all works, because this is some Blazor magic, this is .NET Maui magic, and if you ask me, this is really, really promising what I see here. So um, go check that out. Now there you have it, a short and sweet update on .NET MAUI Preview 10 already. Um, so as we've just seen on the roadmap, we're going to have Preview 11, and then I think we're going to go into the RCs, but you know, it's not set in stone, so it might change over time, but um, you know, the end of the year is nearing, and we want to release .NET MAUI in Q2 of 2022. Um, so, you know, but if uh, think back about that podcast app. How amazing was that, right? Um, th that was a real life app, which has a lot of concepts, I've seen the code, which has a lot of concepts um, that people will definitely use in their own apps that people will definitely be interested in. So whenever it's open source, I will do a small announcement through my shorts, maybe through my stories. I have all this stuff that I can use now from YouTube. Um, so be sure to follow me and um, you will be updated automatically on all this crazy stuff. Together with that, if you like this video, then other people can benefit from these updates as well. So please like this video if you actually liked it. Subscribe to my channel so this content will come to your feed automatically. And I'll be seeing you for my next video keep coding.